Well, hello everybody. This is Linda with Linda Sue Plants for you. This is my mess I've got going on here. I just thought I'd share it with you. And it's a, a very nice day, a beautiful day, or a not so beautiful day, depending on whether or not you like snow. Now, I love, love, love snow, but we've had so much of it that I'm getting tired. I'm getting weary. I'm glad it's the middle of February and we only got weeks left of winter. And my poor hubby, he's, he works so hard. And he's got, he's at work right now and it's a Saturday. And he's uh, working out in this cold. And it's just now is stopping the snowing. It, it's been snowing since the sun came up. And it was snowing hard all day. But <clears throat> hopefully, I think that's the end of it for today, I hope. And he has to come home and shovel and plow and all that yet. So, all right, getting back to the plants. Pulled the sofa out so I had room to work back here. My husband took the my big uh, salome, put it in the, in the uh, bathtub for me so we could, so I could spray it. She was growing up inside, in behind this metal framing here. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can get a close-up of that leaf. Let's see if you can see. There it is. She got all crunched. <laughs> she... She was, she's just going to be okay, but she got all crunched. She was. I had her sitting down on the shelf. Down, and I now have her up higher and in the corner. But she was sitting right here. And she grew up. And that stem got up behind this. And I didn't realize it was behind it. And it was trying to open up, but it couldn't because it was all crunched in here. <laughs> So we got her we got her freed of that. She's out of jail. And I think she'll be okay. <clears throat> but anyway, um behind her you can see there's my skin daptus still climbing up the wall and getting new growth. Now <clears throat> part of the reason I'm redoing this table is I had a big plant behind here and she's now gone. She's out of here. That anthurium that I had nothing but problems with since I got it, it's gone. We treated it three times with uh, Captain Jack's, what's this, and we also treated it with Raid and nothing worked. It was, it was just, it's had problems since I got it, and I just said that's it, just put her out, I can't deal with it anymore, so that's, that's that. Now. This plant, I'm going to be putting her in a different type of setting here. I've got her growing up. This is my philodendron dubium. And she is growing really nicely, as you can see. And she was also growing up behind that thing there. So I'm going to get her away from there. <clears throat> I'm going to put a more of a trellis. I'm going to put her in a bigger pot. And I'm going to put a trellis type instead of the bamboo. I need this bamboo stick anyway for a different plant. So that's something I'm going to do. And then, <clears throat> um, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, the um, my Florida Beauty. I think I'm too close. I think I did that last time too. And I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, okay, so you can see... She's got some new growth coming up there. She's growing really nicely. I love these red stems. So pretty. Um, and she's doing fine in the, with the bamboo. But I think she too needs a bigger pot. I think she's... I'm going to look. I think she, not, she might need to be repotted. And this is my Prince of Orange. And she just... Or he... Took off like crazy, so... 
I think he needs to go in a bigger pot as well. And then my, let's see if I can get that out of the way for now. Huh. This is what's left of my uh, golden pothos. I can see she's getting a little, a little golden on her, which is wonderful, and she's getting new growth. She also needs to go in a bigger pot. That's the plant that was 13 feet tall, and I lost her, and I managed to save a piece of it, and this is, this is that. So she's going good. And then this is my uh, philodendron uh, uh, moonlight. <clears throat> and she's doing really good too. Philodendron burrow marks. I've got new growth coming. And new leaf about to open. And my purple passion. Look at that, folks. She's coming back. I am so excited about that. I almost lost her. But she made it. Once I treated her for the thrips, she dropped this old dead stuff, and I got all new, healthy, healthy growth. So thank goodness for that. And last but not least, <clears throat> if you guys remember, I had this plant here that was growing up and over and across these beams all the way to the other side so I had my husband pull those down and just lay them on the table here I want to take this in the bathroom and treat it really good and then I'm going to repot her and in some fresh soil and I'm going to tuck her down in here and then I'm going to put these other plants over and in front of her so that she doesn't get all that light. She does not like this light. It's way too bright. Ooh, since I put this, my uh, hydro light up here, since I got that, she started to decline after that. So I know it's too, too bright of a light for her. But I think I can just put her on the table and let her just kind of wind around and do her thing and go where she wants to go and maybe I'll even get some more to grow up that wall where that one piece of her is growing let me see if I can get it from this angle yeah there she is see her back there She's shingling up the wall behind there, and she keeps going. So <clears throat> that's why I can't move the mother plant because I don't want to disconnect her from the sh the vine that's shingling. I mean, I probably could maybe cut it off and stick it in water or soil, and maybe it would still grow. But I don't want to take that chance. So. I'm going to do something with this mess here. And then up here I'm going to put another philodendron to match. Let's see if I can. She's growing beautifully across that beam. And I'm going to put another one on this side so that uh, I'm going to get rid of this and put another philodendron so they can meet and I can get an arch going of my philodendron. And here are my bulbs. They just, they're, <laughs> they're so tall. I think this one 
this one's got to be four feet tall because I know if I put a yardstick next to it it'd be at least another half a foot to a foot but there are still no no bulbs I mean no flower buds and no signs of flower buds so I don't think she's going to bloom this year but I will save the bulbs for next year and we'll see what happens Okay, so that's going to be it for now. I will, uh, once I get that table complete, I will show you the finished result of that shortly. Alrighty, well, it took me a couple days, but I, I got her done. This is the result of my hard work. I did some repotting and rearranging and sprayed everything down, soaked it all down in the tub with Captain Jack's, let it sit and drip off and and then uh, repotted and treated the soil with my bonide systemic granules and put everything back on the table. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to be probably leaving it like this. I have it this way for a reason and I'll explain that in a moment. I'm going to get up a little closer here, but not too close because I did that before. And when I was editing, it was, <laughs> I could tell that was way too close. But I'm trying to get in the back here. I want you to see this. This is my uh, skimda Skindaptis, Pictus. And she has got some very beautiful, beautiful leaves on her. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but some of them are nearly white. They're like a, a very, very pale blue, and they, they're, they're so shiny. They're gorgeous. But <clears throat> what I did is I took, and I don't know if I said this in the first part of the video, because that was done a couple days ago, but my, my goal here was to get her kind of tucked back in where and you can see how she she's getting some light but it's and I'm saying some S-O-M-E not sun S-U-N uh, she's getting some light from the hydro Mars the Mars hydro light but I had her remember if you remember I had she was draped up here and along here and hanging from there and then draping down here well the problem with that was she was getting too much light. She did not like it. So up here where her main vine was going, <clears throat> um, she lost all her leaves. I mean, that's how much she didn't like it. But the part that went down under this table that I'm standing in front of, and I'm going to back up now. Um, it goes down under the table and back up at the end of the table. You can see where she's climbing up the wall there. She came up from underneath the table and started attaching herself and shingling to the wall. So when I repotted her, that was quite a challenge because the one thing I did not want to do is accidentally break off that one vine that's feeding her. So I had to take her, untangle her from the pot she was in and that just took forever. But I got her out and I have her on a, a green dollar store trellis type so that she's got some air in there. But I have her kind of tucked underneath everything to shield her from that very bright hydro light. The other plants that are out in the open love that light. So we're going to leave that all where it is. And I already went through the plants, I believe, at the beginning of this video, so I'm not going to do that again. But um, I just want to mention that these um, bamboo sticks that you see, um, there are three of them here. One of them I'm going to leave in. That's for this one, my, my uh, Florida Beauty. She's she's loving that. She's getting a lot of new growth up here. But these two, 
Uh, uh, I may end up getting rid of these altogether because when I was doing the work here and I felt that bulb, the outer three layers feel kind of mushy. I don't think the whole bulb is rotten, but I'm getting nervous about it. So I have to keep a close eye on that because the last thing I need right now is to have a rotting bulb sitting in this house with my um, thrips issue. So I, I don't think they're going to flower. I'm, I'm, I'll be very surprised if I do get a flower and if it doesn't stop getting soft and continues on the path it's on, I may end up just having to throw them out, which would be a shame, but, you know, we have to do what we have to do, right? Um, the other update I have for you is my uh, string of hearts is finally getting some new growth and I'm going to leave her here under the hydrolite. I had her, I had the bag pulled up over her for a while to get the moisture up but I really um, I don't think I need that. I think she's going to be okay here. I'm feeling it right now and she needs water. We've got below zero temperatures for days on end here so our house, our humidity is so low. So I'm boiling water. I have one small humidifier going and it's still not enough. I'm still, the highest I could get it was at 49%. And that was, it was hard to get it up there. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to keep a close eye. Um, this guy here is uh, my philodendron dubium. I took her out of the pot she was in and, and I put her up to on this trellis. And I think she's going to like it there. She's got that whole space to to live in and this is my purple passion you can see she's she's really perking up so I'm excited about that so that's about it on my my final uh, final <laughs> finale for my video I hope it was informative. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I want to thank you once again. Um, for those of you that don't already know, I finally hit a thousand. I'm actually at a thousand eighteen subscribers right now. And I just I want to send out a really, really heartfelt thank you to those of you that helped me get to that mark. Um, and that includes my daughter and granddaughter who, by the way, um, were, they were sharing my videos on Facebook and uh, that helped a lot so for those of you that uh, that found me through my daughter and my granddaughter I thank you so much if you're the ones that subscribed and for all the rest of my subscribers it, it means so so much to me and I'm so happy to be able to bring you these videos so I'm going to see what I can do here in the next few days uh, it's been very challenging with the thrips issue I'm dealing with but the good news is I think we've got a good handle on it um, I'm keeping a very close eye on my plants and they really I'm not seeing any other damage with the exception of maybe three or four plants and I've been treating them and really babying them and hovering over them I'm helicopter mom over my plants if you will um, but one last thing I want to show you is this um, this plant is my Mikens or Meekins. The color on here is just absolutely gorgeous and she's in a south window. So I think she will do just fine up here where I used to have my Scandaptus. So I'm going to hang her here and start training her to go along the beams, upper beams of our living room, and then along and make an archway. I think it's going to turn out really nice. It'll take some time, but, well, that's okay. Okay, so, let me scoot out here and...
thank you again for watching stay tuned for my next video got lots going on here and I'm going to bring it to you or bring as much of it to you as I can and hopefully it'll be real soon thanks again bye now